so I've got another update today on the RC car build and I know it's been a while I've had quite a lot to do and I've also made some changes here as well in the workshop so if you think back to my last video I updated you with the progress of the design of the rear subframe and since that video I've made a lot of design changes that first design served as a great draft print and pretty much paved the way towards what I've created now and I'm also still using it as an electronics test rig as well. I think a lot of you will be excited and in agreement with a lot of the changes that I've implemented. I did mention a few of them in the last video, but in order to implement them, it pretty much required a full redesign. So what I'll do now is I'll jump into CAD, I'll show you a few of the changes, and I'll just explain why I did them. And then I'll put together some kind of time-lapse thing like I did last time, just so you can see me building the frame. And at the end, I'll show you the final result and just share my thoughts on it and give you a bit of an update as to where the project's heading and what videos you can expect in the near future. If we take a look back at what we had at the end of the last video, you can see that as we compress the spring, the camber of the wheels goes very negative. This is bad for a number of reasons, but the main ones being that you simply have less grip when driving and you get uneven tire wear. So as you can see, I've drastically changed the design from before. We've now got dual wishbone suspension and I've mounted the shocks in the middle of the suspension arms. Since I've not got any axles traveling through the arms, this is now quite straightforward. This provides more stability overall, and it seems to work a lot better. You can see that the dual wishbone approach solves the issue we were having before, and it allows the camber of the wheel to stay constant. The only thing I wasn't able to get working in Fusion 360 was spring compression. The front and rear subframes are almost identical. Obviously, the only difference being the rear subframe can't swivel for steering. This is just a quick example of the front subframe and how it could potentially steer. This isn't finalized yet, and I do have doubts about the strength of these plastic parts. Overall though, I'm pretty happy with it, and the only thing left to do now is print it and test it out. So it's done. Well, kind of. It's never done, but you know what I mean. For this particular version of the car, I think I'm going to leave this as it is. Mainly because there's no point trying to perfect something that I haven't tested yet. And I think in testing, I'll gain a lot more information than just sitting here trying to perfect it when I don't know how it actually runs. I also think as well that the speed and progress of this project will now rapidly increase. This is one of the trickier parts of the build. The front subframe is just a duplicate of this. The only difference being the knuckle on the end where I'll have it swivel for steering. And I did that intentionally so that I wouldn't end up having to design two different subframes. The only tricky bit really might be where I gotta hook up the servo, obviously to steer the wheels. I'll have to come up with some kind of mechanism to do that, but it shouldn't be too difficult. All that's really left at this point is just building you know the center of the car i do need to think about how i can protect the electronics as much as i can and also wire it in an efficient way because remember i've got four escs on this thing and one big battery so there's a lot of wiring and i want it to be as clean as possible to summarize super happy with this and also super excited because it's really starting to come together now and i think when you see something you design like this in your hands it's just awesome i can't think of anything better to be honest 
Hopefully it performs reasonably well for a first build. Don't get me wrong, I'm expecting there to be a lot of little issues and a lot of little changes that need to be made. So well, that's it for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below or if you've got any other suggestions. Always open to them. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.